Construction work done fell almost 1% in the March quarter, but it wasn't because fewer people want to build something. Builders are having to tell their clients they can't get materials. As this graph here from the Reserve Bank shows, more than half of firms are reporting problems getting stuff. And connected to that is that building costs are soaring, up 2.8%, the biggest quarterly rise in more than 21 years. Share market rose today a quarter of 1%, thanks to gains by retailers, banks and miners. Elders was among the bigger falls and CSL lost a bit of ground as well. Wall Street fell last night, but most Asian markets went up today. And on commodity markets, iron ore and base metals fell quite a lot, while the gold price went up. At $1,866 an ounce, gold is basically back where it was two years ago. And the Aussie dollar struggled back to 71 US cents. And finally, one market that has been affected by the weekend election result is the one in Australian Carbon Credit Units, or ACUs. These are the certificates that companies have to buy to offset greenhouse gas emissions over a certain baseline. Now, traders have pushed the price up 20% in two days in anticipation of the Labor government tightening the baselines to meet its promised higher target for emissions reduction by 2030, and therefore increasing the demand for ACUs. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there and don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.